Welcome everyone to another episode of the Stevenage Road to Glory. And in today's episode, we have a heartbreak. But as every stupid romantic movie happens, it all comes together in the end. So this is the team that we're looking at playing this 4-1-3-2. I've used it in FIFA 21, I did a series with it. You know, just we have those three attacking players, two good strikers up top. Let's just try something new, let's see if it works. But we're not even... 11 days into our new season, and Cochrane, our left back, is out for the next four weeks with a sprained ankle. So I think he might miss the beginning of the season. If not, he'll be coming back right away. And here's where the bad news starts. Sam Thompson has a $131.2 million release clause, and that has now been met by Napoli. He, unfortunately, has decided to join them $431.2 million. Cannot believe he would betray the club after we. I literally made him from Youth Academy up to here. I will say that is a huge issue on FIFA 22 that hopefully doesn't happen on FIFA 23. I mean, realistically, why would he go and join Napoli? You know, it's like anytime anyone has a release clause, they, they never stay. They always go no matter if it's a better team, worse team. I just cannot believe that he left. It's, you know... Episode's really starting off on a sour note. William Miller's left, but who cares? But joining the team is Victor Osiman, the Nigerian striker who I believe is at Napoli. But I think he just transferred somewhere. But on FIFA 22, I believe he starts off at Napoli. 113 million, essentially used all the money we got from the Thompson sale to buy him. I mean, 88 overall striker. He's going to take us over the hump. Pairing him with Stewart as well. Those two up top is going to be unstoppable. Maximilian Meyer has been sold to Cardiff City, brought him in, I think it was second season as a, youth cat, as a free agent, just never played for us. Russell Wolf's going on a one-year loan move to Sassuolo. Ewan Sheridan has been sold to Levante UD. Unfortunately, just don't really see him getting any playing time, and just figured it's better to sell him, let him go somewhere else. Adam Walsh is going on a one-year loan move to Real Sociedad, as this is now his, I believe, sixth loan move. Adam Middleton is going on a one-year loan move to Piemonte Calcio. Tony Brown has been sold to Liverpool. Nicholas Prince is going on a one-year loan move to Sheffield United. Austin Williams has been sold to MLS side Inter Miami. Transfer window was pretty pretty big for us this year. Um, we made, what, almost $40 million profit, so probably buy someone in February. If not, save up for a huge transfer next year. But Youth Academy, 5-star, five 5-star five to England for some strong players. 5-star, five 5-star five to Hungary for some attackers. And 5-star, five 5-star five to the Czech Republic. And it's time for our first game of the episode. We are hosting Spurs at Broad Hall Way. And this is how the team will be lining up. Dalton is in goal. Martin Stankovic, center backs. McAvoy, Cochrane are the outside backs. Mia's defensive mid. Longo, Saez, and Zuzhevin are the attacking mids. And of course, Stewart and Osiman up top. Here are the highlights. This his debut match. Stuart, what should we expect to see from him? Well, it seems like a good signing to me. They've had some problems at the back in recent years, so I think they just want someone they can depend on week in, week out. He reads the game well, though. Oh, sorry, Stuart, look at this. Well, not cleared away completely. Oh, that... Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. Cochran, Stewart, showing a lot of guile there. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball, and a goal! <laughs> Luis Mia, can he take advantage? And in! Oh! Stewart. Getting forward. Can he finish them off? He's done it! So a 3-1 victory, thanks to two goals from Osiman on his debut. Things are looking pretty good for him. Angel Blanco is going on a short loan move to Portimones SC, I believe over in Portugal. Albert Kendall is going on a short loan move to Real Batiste. Jorge Mendoza is going on a tier loan move to Darmstadt over in Germany. And now we're traveling to Nottingham Forest, 
who just got promoted. So this is actually could be a realistic game someday. But playing a little bit of a different lineup, just getting some different players in. Go starts at that left center back position. Castro gets a start at that left attacking mid position. Paulinho up top. Everything else is the same as it always is. Just getting, getting these players an extra chance to play. Here are the highlights. Yeah, they're struggling to create chances, let alone score goals. And I think it's a combination of many things. No cutting edge in midfield, a lack of movement from the front players, and nobody taking the game by the scruff of the neck. Hopefully it's a different story today. And a goal! That is a very bright chance. And a lot of options here. Will he play it in? They do pass the ball with authority. Can they square the game? And it's in! He's got space. He delivered into the box. Cutting in. What can he do from this position? And a goal! He's put it away! Moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. And it's a goal! And from the Premier League coming up, it's Nottingham Forest taking on Newcastle United. Disappointing pass. Might be a chance here. And a goal! Three minutes on the board. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? This could finish it! And in all likelihood, that... So another victory this time, 4-2 over Forrest. Two goals from Stewart, and Paulinho got a goal as well. Julio Valenzuela will be going on short, and will move to Austin FC over the MLS for the rest of the year. Kathleen has been sold to FCSM over in France. Tyler Graham has joined the team from the Youth Academy. American goalkeeper, he's got A692 potential. Really like the prospect of him in the future. Same goes for Felix Hernandez, who I'm converting to that attacking mid position. Mexican, 63 overall, 84 to 90 potential. Theodore Cadillac is really just a uh, fill the squad type of player. Same goes for Yu Haas. So halfway through the season, we're in 7th place, which I believe is a conference league spot. So I'm totally okay with finishing here, but... We're only three points off of Champions League. I want to go for that. Fernando Morales has been sold to Hitafe for just under $15 million. Brought him in. He was good for us when he actually played for us. But with the system we're using, just don't have a spot for him. Fre Fre Freddie Dawson has been sold to Stuttgart for $22.6 million. Again, we don't, we don't need him as a backup goalie anymore. So let's go, just go ahead and sell him. Jan Kuhl is going on a two-year long move to Italian side Hellas Verona. Felix Hernandez is going on a short loan move to Austin FC. Alan Moss, short loan move to Atletico Madrid. Mitchell will be departing the club once his contract expires. And joining the team from the free agents list is Victor Medina. Spanish attacking midfielder, 17.5k wage. Totally worth it. But the big money signing for us in January is Lucas Hernandez. Bought him from Bergamo Calcio, 40 million. I mean, he's 31 years old, still an A6 overall, should really help sure up our defense. And to, get, to make way for him, Igor Stankovic is going on a short loan move to Roma for the rest of the year. Dylan Griffith has been sold to NEC over in Netherlands. Victor Medina is going on a short loan move to Inter. And Eowyn Go has been sold to Köln over in Germany. Liam Noble has been sold to Toulouse. Joshua Cunningham has been sold to Strasbourg. And the transfer window now is finally over, but again, we did make a profit. So, last two transfer windows, we brought in two very good players, got rid of a good chunk of players, but we still made a profit. You know, we're kind of at that point where we're kind of getting a little serious now. We're really starting to make, you know, that push for the Champions League. So, players like Morales, Dawson, and Mitchell, Griffith, go. If they're not going to be around, not be useful to us, let's get rid of them, get the money from their sales, bring in a brand new player. Clavin Castro will be going in a one-year... One year loan move to Leverkusen next year. I, I cannot get myself mentally to sell him. I brought him in day one. I've absolutely loved using him, but just cannot get myself to sell him. 
and Victor Ossiman has a chance to get the golden boot and break the record this year. Maybe his projected goals are only 30, but the competition record is 32. But I still have yet to play a lot of games. And everyone knows I score goals. Tyler Graham's going to one year long move to Sarmiento over in Brazil. And now it's time to host Brentford. And this is how the new team is looking. Dalton is in goal. Mitchell Hernandez or Martin Hernandez center backs. Megavoy Cochrane outside backs. Mia defensive mid. Wango Saez, Dujavine attacking mids. Osiman Stewart up top. Here are the highlights. Well, the hosts will be looking to pick up another three points in their continuing quest for Champions League football next season. What will be the thought process today, Stuart? Well, at this stage of the season, it doesn't matter how you get a win, you just need to get it. And in front of these... It's got to be! And attempting the through ball. But ably intercepted when it looked as though they might be in. In behind for him to chase. And he could cash in. And he's done it. Stewart. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. A goal! He's just... A bit sloppy in possession. Oh, moving it nicely. A goal! Ray Who can they pick out? Well, they can keep possession now. And he's through here. Early ball in. It's opened up for him. judgment doesn't want to lose his call cool here committed challenge and he's broken free and a goal there he is so a 4-2 victory thanks to two goals from Saez he's really starting to prove himself in this system now we're traveling to St. Mary's Stadium to face off against Southampton Lineup is slightly different. Wolf starts at left back position and Castro starts at left attacking mid. Other than that, team is the same. Here are the highlights. And a tidy challenge. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. And there it is! The open. Here's Gilson Martins. Went in strongly to win the ball. Could cross it in here. And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. The cut back. And a goal! Couldn't keep it. Stewart. Ozimhen. A oh, terrific pass. He might profit from here, you know. And a goal! Well, there you can see it. The visitors haven't been able to control possession, but their attacking play has been really incisive. Oh, look at this, Stuart. An opportunity. What a look! As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Outrageously skillful. This looks promising out wide. Dangerous ball. And he's only gone and made it up. ...of the goalkeeper. Stewart. Can they hit on the break? Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. There it is! A Can they convert? What a lovely strike! So a 6-1 victory, 5 goals from Osimin. I feel very confident he's going to break that record now. But, we've got to face off hosting Chelsea. Lineup, we're back to our starting lineup except 
starting Wolf at that left back position. Here are the highlights. What an important piece of defending. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. And foul it is then. This to open the scoring here. And the penalty is converted. Abraham. Fluency of movement. Moise Keane. And blocked for now. Did well to win the ball back. An incisive pass. And a goal! Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball. But they haven't done enough with it, particularly in the midfield areas. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. Oh, yes! Might be dangerous. Kovacic. Really good block. Good pressure to win the ball back. It opens up for Havertz. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Don't forget, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Chelsea facing Southampton. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere is always... Oh, he's given it. The referee says penalty and an opportunity for them to pull one back here. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. I think he's got it right. this to get back into it in it goes oh. Kai Havertz this looks promising and Pulisic has it cuts it back and in and over comes the corner making sure nothing came of it well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Oh, showing excellent vision. He's in behind the defence here. And it's in! They've eaten! So we did end up losing this game 4-3. However, selfishly, Ossiman still did get two goals. And that's really the most important thing right now. And it was those two goals that would give him the record breaker. But now... We have to focus our sights on Manchester City traveling to the Etihad Stadium. Lineup is the same as it was for the last game. Hopefully we can get a good win here. Here are the highlights. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Manchester City and they take on Stevenage. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game and who will... Can he put it in? In it goes! Kevin De Bruyne. It's a promising City move. Big chance to get them on terms. And it's Gabriel Jesus. De Bruyne. And here's Cancelo. the chance making sure nothing untoward happened superb tackle oh a perfectly timed pass can he find the net a goal and that pass could be troublesome but he keeps going well, that piece of play very easy on the eye and after the cross, a trump and a goal! In position this time. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? It's there for him. And a goal! To... 
showing excellent vision. And nearly the ideal ball, but a good piece of defending. Has the strength to hang on to it. Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Cuts it back. Can they nudge in front? Oh, yes! I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. And Sterling has it. Foden. He's in here. Oh, it's gone in, would you believe? Forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. Now, high-quality defending. This might be ideal for the counter. Oh, in with a chance! And a goal! He's put... So a 5-4 to four victory in what was a classic in the Premier League. I mean, late, late in the stage of the season, everyone's fighting for points. A 5-4 to four thriller. Now, granted, their last goal was an own goal, but we move. Joining the team from the Youth Academy is Martan Sabo. Hungarian attacking midfielder could be very good for us. Benz Nemeth is joining the team. Very promising striker. Same goes for Reggie Plant. And Victor Hovroth. Casper's also a very good striker, so we got a lot of depth there. Broad Hallway now hosting Nottingham Forest in a replay, so switching things up a little bit, playing a 3 5 2. Just the formation just wasn't really working as much as I had hoped. Hopefully, this one will work a little bit better with Dalton and Goal, Wolf, Hernandez, Martin, center backs, Mia, McAvoy, defensive mids. Sujavin, Longo on the wings, Saez attacking mid, Stewart, Osiman up top. Here are the highlights. And he was in the right place to intercept. Scott has the details. Yes, it's a goal for Chelsea. It's now 1 0. Can he get one back? Great challenge. Must be. Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. And Sam Surridge. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Time pass. He might profit from here, you know. Keep the ball a bit better than that. The well, news coming through that the referee has pointed to the spot in one of the other matches. With the details, here's Alex. Yeah. Is this the moment? Must be. And there is the. And just look at that score. Stewart. Oh, what an opportunity! Another goal! Stewart has it. Oh, great vision. Just needs to stay calm. A goal! Cruz to the attacking side. It is a decent looking attack here. Cuts it back. A goal! It's a goal for Chelsea. You could see he knew what he wanted to do as he stepped up to take that free kick because it was executed superbly. They now lead 3 2 with seven. Oh, he's through here. And there is the goal to make. 9 to 1. I would say the uh, new formation, new style is working pretty well. Hold on. Hold on. I... 9 to 1.
I mean, this is Leicester versus Southampton, 9-1, to one, right? Wasn't that, that was the final score. This is, yeah, I mean, Hatcher from Osman, 4 from Stewart, and 2 from Saez. Wow. Sergi Delgado is going on a one-year loan move to Hoffenheim for all of next season. Sa Sazbo will also be on a one-year loan move for us this season to Cirque Le Bruges. And Hel Blanco has been sold for $2.4 million. Rom will be joining Estudiantes for two and a quarter of a million dollars. Alec Cochrane's joining Belgian side Anderlecht for thirteen point three million. I just can't see him being at the team for us long term. He's not good enough, so I have to get a replacement for him. Premier League, we ended up finishing in fourth place, which means we're in the Champions League next year. Osimhen top goal scorer with thirty seven. Stewart and Saez top assisters with sixteen and thirteen respectively. FA Cup got knocked out in the 6th round by Wolves. Carabao Cup got knocked out in the 4th round by Brentford. Osiman led the team in goal score with 42, proving that maybe getting rid of Thompson was the right move to bring him in. Stewart had 20, Saez 12. Saez had, Stewart both had 18 assists, Longo had 8. And got a couple players leaving, but most notably will be Paulinho. Brought him in, he... He was a very good rotational backup striker, but he's 35 years old. He's starting to lose any bit of pace he barely had in the first place, but will be missed. So yeah, biggest victory is now changed. Still do have a lot more losses and draws, but I think at this point we're just happy that we're going to be in the Champions League next year. And this team, I don't think, it's going to be tough to see if we can actually win it. Probably have to bring in a new star goalkeeper, star center back if we have any chance. Mia might also need to be replaced. So I don't know if we're going to win it next year, but I do feel like the momentum we have going forward with Stewart and Osiman being 87 and 82 overall, I really do think we have a chance. But it's all just going to come down to how we defend, and that is pretty much the story of my life on FIFA. If we can defend well, if or just keep us in the game, we'll eventually get a goal to go in the back of the net. But that's the entire struggle in, in itself, so we'll just kind of have to see how things go. That will be the next episode. I have decided that this will finally be the last series I'm doing with FIFA 22. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one. Hopefully you guys continue watching. Subscribe if you're new. And it is JTB signing off.